Before we start, I just want to say that the story moves from right to left and from top to bottom. You can see the indications in the pictures from 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4. Right to left, top to bottom, top to bottom, right to left. Hey guys, it's me, your narrator Amrit Chrome. So I started a new WhatsApp group called AC Updates where you can receive new episodes as soon as they are released. Plus you can chat with me by messaging the admin. So I just changed my city and that's why I was busy last week. And this is the reason I was not able to create a new episode. So if there is any such problem in the future, you can know that from the WhatsApp group. So make sure to go to the link in the description and join my group. So now let's start with the Angel Densetsu Volume 7, Coffin for the Victor. So as we know that with every new volume, we have character introductions at the start. So now I'm gonna read these uh, and see what writer writes for those characters. For Kitano, the writer writes, a boy with the face of a demon but heart of an angel. With this appearance, he became the guardian of Hekaiku High School. Despite a number of unfortunate misunderstandings, he is currently enjoying his school life very much. Shirataki Ikuno, Shirataki's daughter, as her father's heir, she enters Hekaiku High School to keep a careful watch on Kitano kun. She attacks many male students to conquer her fear of Kitano kun. Shirataki, a special guidance counselor dispatched from the education committee to deal with Kitano kun at the principal's request. Kurudo Sukichi, one of my favorites. Former guardian of Hekaiku, now calls himself number two. Always seen with his two younger lackeys. He's all bluff and has nothing to back up his mouth. Holds a tragically one-sided love for Ryoko. Ugisu Takshi, the self-styled fighting master who wants the position of Hekaiku guardian. No matter how many times he is crushed, his specular willpower brings him back to his feet, burning for revenge. He is under the impression that Kurudo is the guardian. And the last is Koiso Ryoko, a beautiful female Kabudo martial artist learning the Koiso school of martial arts directly from her father. She sees through Kitano Kun's appearance and finds that he has a pure and angel heart. She is the only person to understand who he really is. Now starting with our chapter 32, Ikuno's Rampage. So as we saw last time that Kurudo was knocked down by his own friends. So now he is waking up looking around at what happened here. Huh? What the heck happened to me? Ouch! My head hurts. What happened here? Hey, wake up, dogs! Uh, oh, Kurudo song. So one of the guys is waking up. Kurudo make both of them to get up. Did that girl beat us up after all? Uh, yes, we went down right after you get knocked out, Kurudo san. Huh? So Kurudo is thinking about this. That's what I don't understand. How did she knock me out? Uh, I remember facing off against her, but I have no memories of what happened after that. You don't remember. I guess not. I mean she did totally lay you flat with one hit. What does that mean? And for some reason, the back of my head hurts a lot. Oh yeah. Why are you guys talking about unleashing some special secret attack or something? And then you guys were, huh? It was an attack at lightning speed. She burst towards you quicker than the eye could follow. Then she ducked around you automatic right punch that came out in reaction and came up behind you. Huh, I threw a punch with my right arm. Yes, chilled by your powerful thrust, she abandoned a face-to-face -face battle and shiveled around your side to hit you on the back of the head. Now that you mention it, I feel like I might have unconsciously reacted somehow. Yes, I think I faintly remember all that. Oh, it was all... It was close, it really was. So those guys are lying to Kurudo. They are not telling Kurudo that they are the ones who knocked Kurudo down. Well, we should go back. What about Ugisu? Leave him. What a totally useless bastard punk. Talk about cruel. So now Crudo is walking to his class and he saw one more guy on the ground. 
Somebody is sleeping on the ground over there. Man, he must be so carefree, just sleeping around while I live my life of violence and fear. Wait, wait, crudo san People normally don't sleep here. Yeah, this guy is all naive or serene or whatever you call it. That's not the point. Whoa, what the shit? So Grudo was talking about the guy lying on the ground and the guy moved. Whoa, what the shit? Hey, what happened? Pull together. Hey. Uh, a girl, weird girl asked if I was strong. I said yes and then she... So the guy passed out without completing his sentence. What does that mean? What's her problem? She's attacking everybody, not just us. So then Crudo looked behind the wall and he saw that everyone was lying on the ground. What? What the hell? So this is all Ikuno is doing. She is so frustrated over her weakness over Kitano that she is fighting with everybody. So now it's in the ground and uh, people are here to play volleyball, I guess. The boys get to play volleyball. They are so lucky. Really? It's better than just running laps. Okay, girls, gather round. We are going to be timing you today. Uh, uh, that sucks. You are pretty slow runner. Kumagi sensei, I need a word with you. Oh, is that true? Yes, that's why I have been going around to the PA teachers. Okay, you all can do what you want for this period. I have to leave for a bit. Yay! So the teacher called the PE teacher for something and Ryoko was looking at what's happening around there. Whoa, my wish came true. I kept wishing that the teacher would leave. Oh, cool. Huh? He also went to the boy's teacher. I guess he's going to take him too. Ah, there they go. I wonder what happened. So he took Murakami away too. Did he say what happened? Nah. If they needed PE teachers, I guess something violent happened. No way. So Ryoko is kind of stressed now and she's looking at the teachers. What are we supposed to do? Self-study PE? Tongue twisters. <laughs> Good idea. We should get some juice or something. Sure, nothing else to do. Huh? You are ditching? By yourself? What a punk. Huh? Me? I have never been in a fight, but I wouldn't say I'm weak. I guess I'm strong. So now the boys are talking with Ikuno and she's asking the same question to everyone that are you strong? So the boys said yes, they are strong. And then they got a punch and Ikuno was attacking them now. Ryoko was looking at them and she was alarmed. Hey, what's your problem? Why did you... So Ikuno came out with an angry look on her face. She's really pissed. Hey, isn't that girl the new transfer student in class 12? Ryoko, that's her. What the hell? What did we do to you? So Ikuno knocked one guy down and now she's behind others. She punched other guys too and all the girls are looking at what's happening. No, whoa! So Ikuno knocked everyone down with just one punch. What? And now she's saying, weak, you are so weak, stronger. I need to find someone stronger before I can beat Kitano Sichiro. So now Ikuno is frustrated that everyone in this school is so weak. So she's looking for someone stronger. Then she looked around in the crowd and she saw Ryoko over there. Ikuno meet eyes with Ryoko. Ryoko was alarmed as she know that Ikuno is coming to fight her. So Ikuno moved towards the crowd. No, wow, she's coming. Hey, Ryoko, she... Ikuno was getting closer. She is coming this way. Let's get out of here. Ryoko's friend tried to move away, but it's too late. Ikuno tried to attack Ryoko with her kick, but Ryoko was successful in blocking it with her arm. Ah, oh, a forward kick that turned into a cross and kick aimed at the side of the opponent's head. Wow, a fight, a fight, well blocked. Good, you will make the perfect training. 
Why you? So Ikuno is still approaching Ryoko and attacking her. But Ryoko was successful in blocking all her attacks. Whoa! And crowd is shocked at the same time they are enjoying the fight. Wow, Ryoko, hey! What's wrong? You won't last if you stay on the defense all the time. So Ikuno is getting happy as she's on the attacking side. And now she's gonna kick Ryoko. But Ryoko is observing her movements and she's saying, A backwards roundhouse kick. Oh no, a back punch. A back kick. So Ryoko was trying to see that what Ikuno is gonna do. But then Ikuno kicked her. And Ryoko successfully blocked it. Ah, got you. So Ikuno braked Ryoko's defense and now she was coming to attack her again. But then Ryoko kicked her and was able to dodge her attack once again. All the boys are shocked and looking and Ryoko is fighting with Ikuno. Oh, sorry, I did not. So Ryoko did not try to kick Ikuno consciously. But when Ikuno was attacking her, she moved on her own. But Ikuno is happy. You are indeed strong, as you should be. Hey, what are you doing over there? So now the PE teachers are here. You in the uniform. Come here, you. Ah. Hey, you, wait. Are you okay, Ryoko? Uh, that was a bit close. Everything in order, Koiso. Uh, yes, I think so. Thanks a bunch for holding her back for us. We found at least 10 people knocked out during the break alone. Huh? She did that? We are not sure, but we think so. I don't know why she do it though. So Ryoko is kind of shocked after hearing this, as Ryoko understands Ikuno's situation. There's nothing left to do in this period. So get changed and go back to your classrooms. Don't wander around outside too much. Although I don't think you need to be told that. I wonder why she did those things. You really think she did it? Yeah. Her eyes were cold and frightening. I got a chill down my back. Mm, yeah, I guess you wouldn't notice. Huh? Notice what? That's exactly how your eyes look, Ryoko. So Ryoko's friend made a statement that make Ryoko a little shocked. Actually, I think you changed a lot ever since you met Kitano-kun. Before then, you were really savage, like you could never stand being beaten by a boy. Sometimes I thought you were scary, but after you met Kitano-kun, it's like all the tenseness ran out of your shoulders. And now you just act normal. So now Ryoko is realizing that Ikuno is same like her. Ikuno doesn't want to be beaten by a boy. That's why she's acting in such a rough way. Well, that meant that nobody in this school ever tried to mess with you, I guess. Of course. But hey, what if she fights with Kitano-kun and she falls in love with him too? What are you talking about? We may not be different after all. I used to get myself involved in fights with punks all the time. After losing to Kitano-kun, I tried to challenge him re repeatedly because I wanted to establish my own strength. So now Ryoko is thinking about her memory that when she came at Kitano at the second time, she was saying, Attack me like you did yesterday. I want to settle this with both ends attacking at full power. And then she thought about Ikuno. She said, good, you will make a perfect training. So now Ryoko is thinking that I was saved by Kitano-kun and perhaps she will be too. So now the bell rings at the school. And it's in Kitano's class. So this is the end of today's class. Don't stick around school today, just go straight home. Someone was attacking people during fourth period break today and several male students were incapacitated. What? Oh yeah, I heard some of the guys in class 7 got hurt. Like over 10 of them. A, f a fight? Wow, a hoodlum showed up. I don't know. Several of the teachers checked around the school and we think the culprit is gone but not caught, so please have caution. 
and go home in groups if you can. Also, we haven't totally confirmed it yet. But it's possible that the culprit may be a girl. Just be careful. So the teacher is giving warning to everyone. One person beats up over 10 guys by himself. Could be pretty rough, kitano sa. And he said that it, it could have been a girl that did it. Do you think one girl could knock out that many guys? Hoodlums are boys. There is no way it could be a girl. So Kitano said this in such a serious voice. Really? So you think so too? It's like an expert in fighting. You should be able to tell from the facts that it was no female that did it, right? No, I mean a hoodlum is a guy who provokes violence. The word doesn't really apply if it's a girl, you know. Uh, I don't think that was a point. So this is our classic Kitano. He was talking about the word hoodlum. Not giving his view on whether a girl did it or not. So Kitano was looking down the window and he saw that Ikuno was right there. The girl that transferred in. She's alone. Didn't she hear the teacher's warnings? Oh, she just transferred. So she has no friends to go home with. Shall we go then, Kitano-san? So Kitano is looking at Ikuno and he's thinking that Ikuno is alone. Maybe she's in danger. You are not afraid of any hoodlums, are you? Hoodlums? If any showed up, they'll be once getting pounded. Okay then, I have something to do. See ya. Oh, Kitano-san! So Kitano left Takeshi alone and now he's gone after that girl. Sorry today, I need to go home alone. I got some business to take care of. What? Why today? When there's that person on the loose. Don't worry about it. I don't think she's interested in fighting girls. So Ryoko's friend is saying, what is it, Ryoko? What are you going to do? Uh, no, I just... You are going to fight, aren't you? Um, I... Ryoko's friend is pretty serious and she really cares for her. And she don't want Ryoko to fight. Stop that right now. Why do you always love to stick your head into fights all the time? What does she have to do with you? So this time Ryoko is serious and she's saying, you are wrong. I think she's out there somewhere waiting for me. So we can fight. How would you? I just know. You said she looks the way I used to. Ah. Oh, all the more reason you shouldn't. Besides, she is tough. Like as much as you or maybe more. Let's just ask Kitano-kun. Kitano-kun could... No. Why not? He's strong. If Kitano-kun and I really had a fight, I would win, huh? You know, Kitano-kun is nice, right? He wouldn't hit a girl. That's why he wouldn't win if he fought with her. And besides, I just don't want him to get involved in any more fights as it is. Cause that's all that ever happens to him. But don't worry, it's not that big of a deal. Just think of it as par between members of different martial arts schools, that's all. I have never heard of that. Oh well, don't get hurt, don't worry. If I'm in trouble, I'll just run. I can run fast, you know. So now Ryoko is planning to fight Ikuno, just like as Ikuno wants. So it's the back of the school and Ryoko was alone. Huh, maybe here. What about here? So Ryoko was looking for her. There's nothing to complain about it in terms of space. Actually, she's looking for a place to fight. And then Ikuno was right there. The teachers think they have already searched the entire school. So I think it's actually safer here now. Sorry, I'm going to have to get serious. I don't have anything against you. Yeah, yeah, don't worry about being considerate. I'm also getting serious. Huh, where's that girl go? 
So now it's Kitano. He was looking for that girl so that he can help her. But in reality, she is the danger. So this is the end of our chapter. And here's a piece of art by our artist. He draw pictures of angels on some pages. It's just girls with few wings. But it looks nice. So this is the end of the chapter. I'll see you guys with one more Angel Densetsu episode. Until then, sayonara and make sure that you like this video and go and join my WhatsApp group. Thank you.